Hey guys, it's Katie. Today we have an intense ab burner. So we have a timed workout with 45 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest. So I'm gonna hit start on my timer and let's get going. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna warm up very quickly by coming into all fours and taking just 45 seconds here to warm up our spine. So start by taking some cat cows to get some movement into our abs and our back. Moving the spine and spinal fluid. When we start to warm up our body like this, the blood flow actually comes to our muscles. So you can kind of take a couple of circles here, do what feels good. You have 10 more seconds. Just like this, good. Just feel it out. Prepare to engage your core. Good. All right. So let's come over onto our back. Our first series of exercises is going to be on our back. And we're going to start by taking a crunch with penguin variation. So we'll crunch up and then we'll reach the left. Reach to the right, come back down, just like this. So your upper body is just coming off the vent just a little bit. And we're warming up the upper abdominals. We don't have any repeat exercises today. So you only get to do each exercise 45 seconds. So really give every single exercise your all. And remember to breathe. Always trying to breathe in through your nose, into your stomach, last one, and out through your mouth. Okay, our next exercise will start in a crunch, just like this, and then we'll extend out into kind of like a boat pose variation just like this so what you want to do is as always keep your lower back on the mat to protect your lower spine your lumbar spine if that's hard for you you can keep your leg as straight up into the air as possible just take it as low as you can and see if you can breathe in on the extend and then breathe out on the crunch Good. We have 10 more seconds here. Nice and controlled. Last one. And rest. Keeping our back on the mat, we will lift our legs up into a tabletop position, making them at a right angle, and we'll alternate tapping one toe at a time down to the mat. Again, drawing your belly button in so that your lower back is protected, planting your back and spine into the mat, allowing the lower abdominals to control this exercise. Really trying to keep the 90 degree bend in your knees. So we might not be moving very quickly, but you should really feel the burn here with all of the control that is necessary. Give me one more. Good, and rest. Our next one, we will take big scissor kicks. So you can start by sending your legs up to the sky. If you want to, you can put your hands behind your head with your elbows out wide. That's how I like to do it. And we'll be taking scissor kicks just like this. Just switching. Nice and controlled. Bringing a smile to your face as you look down and see your strong core. Sending oxygen to your abdominals, keeping your elbows wide. Getting stronger. 15 seconds, keep going. Three, 
three, two, one, and rest. Good, you can shake out a little bit if you need to. And then we will send our legs right back up to the sky. Lift our head and just drop your left leg this time. Just like this. So your right leg is staying straight and your left leg is coming up and down. Remember to protect your lower back by only bringing that left foot down as much as you can with your lower back staying on the ground. If you breathe in on the way down, it'll help actually support your abdominals because the air is filling up your lungs. So it's bracing your abs from the inside out, which is pretty cool. And you can exhale on the way up. Good, let's rest. Take a nice deep breath. And we'll go right into the other side. So assuming that starting position and just drop your right leg this time. Breathe in, breathe out. Using your breath like a pump. Using your breath as a tool to send oxygen to your muscles a tool to strengthen. You are doing so well. So we're gonna be getting uh, obviously our abdominals and our hip flexors. We'll get them a little more in a little bit. Our obliques and even a little bit of our lower back and upper back as well. All right, let's come back down and get into the lower abdominals with a reverse crunch. So you can plant your hands on the floor here if that feels comfortable to you. Bring your legs together and we will lift our booty off of the mat. Oh, just like that. So this movement is way more about controlling the lift and the down than it is about using momentum. Keep breathing. You have 10 seconds. Can you take it a little bit higher on these ones? There you go. Last one. Good, come down. All right. This time we'll take our tabletop position again and then keeping our toes together, we'll make a diamond shape with our legs. Your heels can be together too. Put your hands together and we will reach right through just like this. So this is like a little diamond tabletop crunch. If you want to challenge yourself, you can see if you can go a little bit faster or keep yourself more at the top of the crunch. The more time you spend at the bottom, the longer your rest will be. 15 seconds. This is how you get nice and strong abdominals to support you in all that you do. Good. And rest. All right, next we are going to put our hands behind our head again, the elbows nice and wide, and take bicycle, a classic. So we'll be bringing our opposite elbow to me. And if you can, see if you can actually reach your opposite wrist to your knee. If you can reach your wrist, you'll be getting an even deeper twist will challenge your obliques a little bit harder. But if elbows are what you got today, that's also perfect. Just keep moving. Exercise isn't about judging yourself and being mean to yourself, but rather appreciating what you can do, pushing yourself to be better. 
It's a game in mental toughness as well as physical toughness. All right, rest. And you can go ahead and reach your hands in through your legs and grab the outside of your feet, <laughs> just like this, okay? And we'll start by rocking a little bit, just like this. Taking a seal kind of motion. And as we do this, see if you can bring your rock all the way up to the top and then hold it before you control your rock down. So your spine is arched through the rock. You don't want to be flopping onto your flat back here. You want to be protecting your neck. This is actually massaging your spine too, which might feel really good. Can you give me one more? And then meet me here at the top. Good. All right, we will let our hands go. You can rest your feet down. Find your balance. And you can either bring your hands behind you for support so that we can extend our legs and take some scissor kicks. Just like this. See how straight you can make your legs. And for an extra balance challenge and core challenge, you can send your arms out parallel to the mat. So making sure that as you do this, you're drawing your belly button in still while you lean back, sitting up nice and tall. So you will feel this in the tops of your thighs and those are your hip flexors. So it's all connected, right? Your hip flexors insert at the top of your pelvis and your abdominals insert at the bottom of your pelvis. So there's overlap there, which means that we need to work the whole system in order to have a strong core. Okay, we're gonna stay in this teaser position and continue this series uh, with a set of exercises sitting on our butt. So let's come up into teaser and drop just our left leg down. If you need to, you can rest that right foot on the mat so that you can focus on squeezing your left thigh, your left hip flexor. Maybe putting your arms out in front of you to challenge yourself a little bit more. I know that I'm really feeling the burn right now in the top of my thigh, so I am right here with you do not quit, you have 10 seconds. Keep breathing, lean back, squeeze. This is how you get stronger. Good, draw that leg in. As a reminder, your hip flexors help you so much with running and jumping and strengthening them like this is going to help protect you. Um, extend the right leg and we will start by dropping the right leg down this time. So this is actually gonna help with injury prevention, right? Because it is all connected. We need this muscle in order to drive our knees up. I'm gonna extend my legs out. And keep breathing, shoulders back. Nice big smile. You Focus on squeezing, straightening. Give me 10 more seconds of movement here, even if you're just taking it off the ground a little bit. And relax. Okay, staying in this teaser-like position, we can bring our hands behind us and we will take some crunches just like this. Um, or if you want to, you can also have your hands out in front of you, which of course is also going to challenge your balance. Good. So this time we are leaning back and then sitting up. Hip flexors and abdominals. All of these exercises too are going to require us to engage our transverse abdominis, which is like the band of muscle that goes around your waist. It's like the corset muscle. And that's what's responsible for those isometric holds, 
So like when you're pulling your core in, you're also um, engaging the transverse abdominis too. So you can think like um, when you suck in doing vacuums or doing planks, like your transverse abdominis is used to holding everything in. All right, what are we doing here? We have our teaser position and we're gonna take nice big circles and reverse directions with both legs. All right, so this exercise series is meant to challenge you to engage all of those muscles. And a little bit we'll flip over and we'll even get up into the back a little bit. So with this one, try to drive the movement out of your hip flexors again, holding your upper body a little bit still and sticking your legs together. If you can only take small circles, that's fine. All right, let's rest. This time we'll stay in this position. You can have your feet planted on the floor or elevated, and we will take a Russian twist. So you can have your hands together, however it feels comfortable for you, and we'll lean back as we tap either side of our body, just like this. You can have your legs bent like me or straight, wherever you are going to challenge yourself today. You're over halfway there. Keep twisting. Keep breathing in to your stomach, in through your nose, flowing out through a straw. Three, two, one. Rest. Good, okay. We will now take our plank variation. So flip on over with me. And starting on our left side, we'll come into a left side plank. So you can put that bottom foot in front. And we will start by taking some dips here. So making sure that your left elbow is under your left shoulder. Pressing out of the mat with that left forearm and your feet and drawing the movement out of the side of your body. Good, keep breathing. I know that you can feel it, feel the burn. This is definitely a challenging one. Last one and come down. I'll flip on over so you can see me. I'm just gonna take it right onto the other side. Again, right elbow under right shoulder, bottom foot can come in front, and we will gently lift ourselves up, hand on the hip, and do some lifts here. Using our strong core, to drive this movement. Good. Keep going. Think about how good you are going to feel when you finish this exercise. You only have one set of every exercise. So there's no reason you can't give each one your all. Rest, all right. So this time, we'll get into a full plank position. So wrists underneath shoulders and step out. And we will alternate tapping our knee to our elbow. So your ankles and your heels are pulling away from your body. You are pushing out of the mat with your wrists and your shoulders. You're keeping your body as parallel as possible to the mat. We have six seconds. 
Give me a couple more. And rest. All right. This time we are going to repeat that exercise, but I want you to bring your elbow, or I'm sorry, bring your knee to the opposite elbow and then the outside with the same elbow. Just like this. So left knee comes to right elbow, outside of left elbow. Left knee comes to the right elbow, outside of left, outside of right elbow. Just like that. I know I can feel the burn. I just did arm day too, so you might be feeling this in your shoulders as well, which is completely normal. Ooh. Give me one more on either side. Good. And rest. Okay, so this time we'll come into all fours and we will pick up our left hand and sit back and then come all the way up into all fours again just like this so you want to come up far enough so that your wrist is coming over your uh, or under your elbow and your shoulder And you're just holding that left arm out. And the key here is to use your core to really stabilize the movement, drawing your belly button in. Imagine your belly button coming up to the sky. Good, bring your left arm down and then Shake it out, and we will repeat on the other side. So planting that left hand down, right arm extends, and here we go. So imagining that somebody has a string attached to your middle back and belly button and it's pulling your belly button in. Good. The more forward you come, the more you will feel the challenge in your core. This is like a little bird dog variation. Okay, you got 15 seconds. Keep going. Keep holding that core tucked in really nice and tight. Keep holding that arm up and rest. Shake it out. What do we have? Okay, so this time let's come onto our forearms. I'm just checking my notes behind me. We'll come onto our forearms and come up into the dolphin. And then we'll come down into a forearm plank and drop our knees and then come back up into a dolphin. So again, this is another exercise where we are asking our core to stabilize the movement. Nice full plank there. Try to keep your hips low when you come into your plank so that you're par parallel to the mat. You are doing so well. We are almost done with our series of plank sets. All right, rest. And now we are going to come onto our stomach. So I'm just gonna flip around. Um, and we're going to alternate lifting opposite leg and arm. So I call this going for a swim. Feel how the middle of your body is required to stay still as you do this. Engaging your back and your core. Good, 15 seconds. You can go a little faster. For the last five, four, three, two, one, rest. Good, all right. Stretch it out. And we're going 
going to extend our arms again. And this time, we're going to lift all four at the same time. So here we go. So we'll lift and lower. Lift and lower. Keeping your chin slightly tucked in. Holding longer at the top in order to challenge yourself. Remember to breathe deeply into your muscles. You're doing so well. We've done 30 seconds. Keep squeezing the back side of your body. Last one. Oh, stretch it out if you need to. And we're going to flip onto our right side now. And we'll go left leg on top. And keeping our legs together, we're going to lift both legs at the same time. So you can plant your top hand into the mat. You can put your head on your arm like this. And you want to try to draw the movement out of the side of your waist here. As if you were crunching out of the side, lifting your legs with your core. I know that you are feeling the burn, keep going. Just a few more. All right, we're done. All right, I'm going to swing around so you can see me. And we're going to take the same thing on the other side. All right, press your head on your arm, hand out in front of you, and let's lift. Good. Squeezing the right side of your core with every lift. You're doing so well. We're almost done today's class. Just a couple more minutes here. Not even because we're going to cool down too. 10 seconds. Really squeeze that side body. Three, two, one. Good. All right. Let's roll over. I'll face this way this time. It doesn't matter. And we're going to come onto our stomach. Put the back of our hands together and put them on our forehead. And we're just going to pulse the upper body this time. So just engaging your core and lower back. So here is where we engage your erector spinae, all those little tiny muscles that connect your vertebrae and are responsible for holding up your midsection. Planting your feet and hips into the ground and just pulsing, just pulsing the upper body here. Just a couple more. And rest, okay. We're gonna do a cat cow as our cool down. So come up into all fours and push out of the mat. And we're just gonna take that cat cow again. So this time, see if you can feel a difference in your body. Do you feel more limber? Do you feel stronger, hotter? How do you feel? I guess high is in temperature. Oh, it looks, depending on your mood. How, how does this feel when you move around like this? Maybe you don't feel different though. It's also completely fine. Just shaking out all that work we did for a couple of seconds, letting it all go. Oh, shake it out. Good. And that is the end of our exercise for today.
Okay, so meet me here just for a moment in the center of your mat. Cross your legs, as always. You can leave your hands on your lap or bring them to your heart and just close your eyes. Just give me a couple breaths here. In through your nose. Out through your lips. Feel your whole body here. Feel your heart beating. Tell yourself how wonderful of a job you did today for showing up, for pushing yourself. And think of one thing that you are excited for the rest of your day. Even if it's just a drink of water after this class, even if it's something small. Okay, open your eyes, see how you feel. Big breath in and out, deep missed one yet. Let everything go. Okay, thank you so much for joining me for today's class. If you want more content from me, especially meditations, which are gonna help change your mindset and help you manifest your best life, that is in my Patreon link down below. And please like this video and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel so I can keep providing more fitness classes for you. And I will see you guys next time. I'm sending you so much love. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.